guys, Andrew here with Dadverb. So in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Owlet Dream Sock and cover everything that you need to know and see how it differs from their original Smart Sock. This is an honest, in-depth review, not paid by Owlet, but I do wanna thank the sponsors of this channel, and that's Love Every. Many people interested in Owlet are either expecting or have newborns, so as an intro, Love Every makes stage-based play kits for newborns up through age four. Their kits were designed by a team of researchers, academics, and specialists to help develop your child's brain at key stages to foster improved play, learning, and growth. In those early months, the Charmer play kit might be a perfect fit for your child as it's designed to foster exploration with their mouth, eyes, and hands as their social awareness grows. Uh, that's best for the three to four month range, but there are many options to explore. So visit the link below to become a Love Every Play Kit subscriber and get your littles off on the right foot. Now, we recently got our hands on the Outlet Dream Sock Duo, and while we mostly plan on using Miku for baby number three, we really wanted to give the Dream Sock a go, especially in these early weeks. We'll touch on the camera a little bit later, but let's focus on the sock to start. So out of the box, we're looking at the sock and sensor, uh, base station, power adapter, power cable, and uh, larger size socks. So the original Owlet Smart Sock was an innovative piece of wearable tech known for delivering real-time heart rate and oxygen vitals on your baby. And while it was really popular with a lot of parents, in particular parents of, of preemies, uh, it came under fire by the FDA, which I previously made you know, a whole video on, uh, and Owlet pulled their Smart Sock from shelves. But they'd already been planning their Dream Sock and it didn't take them long to pivot and switch to this guy right here. This is the Dream Sock. So, what are the differences? On the surface, the Dream Sock looks exactly the same as the third generation of the Smart Sock. It seems to mimic the dual Velcro design with one strap looping around the ankle and securing itself on the other side to keep a tight fit. Uh, the sensor is also Velcroed on and can easily be removed and charged in the base station, which also looks exactly the same. But where it differs is the Smart Sock had features notifying users based on heart rate and oxygen levels that fall outside of preset values. The Dream Sock no longer sends notifications based on that. And asking the brand myself, they positioned the Dream Sock as, quote, a sleep solution that uses a variety of sleep quality indicators, such as movement, heart rate, oxygen level, wakings, et cetera, to determine your child's sleep state and sleep quality and prompt you if your child is uncomfortable or needs your assistance to sleep more soundly. The sock is still able to read those vitals, but they use them as indicators of sleep state and sleep quality. When the sock is on and you open their new Dream app, you'll be able to see those indicators right here along with current movement patterns and how many wakings have been reported. Uh, and at the top is a restfulness bar, which visually sums up everything the sock is tracking. Rather than showing you second by second oxygen levels, it's now only showing you a 10 minute historical average. Of oxygen. Now, a common question is if oxygen levels get low, will it still alert you as it did before with the Smart Sock? Technically, yes, but the alert would be for poor sleep quality, not low oxygen. Because it's a metric being tracked in their multifactorial sleep algorithm, if it's abnormally low, it'll report that you know sleep quality is suboptimal and it's going to trigger a lavender alert on your base station and your phone. Will it take 10 minutes to alert because it's reporting a 10 minute oxygen average? No, it'll be instantaneous. Looking at the other base station alerts, we most commonly get the yellow alert, uh, which means that the sock kind of just like, came loose or something. Normally, you just kind of tap the base station, reset the, the sock and uh, it'll be good to go. But for whatever reason, we still keep getting these alerts, uh, no matter how many times I press the base station. So what I have to do is just put the sock on the charging pad for a beat and then pull it back off and that's a good reset. I don't know why that keeps happening, but that's just something that we've noticed. Now on that note, the sensor can hold a charge for up to 18 hours, but you'll need to make it a habit of charging it on the base station daily. Moving on, let's explore the app and see what they've added. Below the sleep indicators is a summary of your baby's sleep for the night. And below that is the status of all of your equipment. In the history tab, you can go day by day to review your baby's sleep patterns. And as of now, there are no subscription fees uh, for this, like you may see with Nanit. Uh, while you can use the calendar to jump around, I think it would be helpful to have the option of an aggregated view of sleep bars like we've seen with the Miku Pro. In the guide tab, they'll have general tips for you based on your baby's age to stay informed. 
Uh, and lastly is their Dream Lab tab, which will actually be sunsetting on August 31st, 2022. It was a short-lived feature that was kind of like an in-app sleep coaching type thing. Uh, but according to Outlet, uh, it will be replaced with a new feature called Predictive Sleep, uh, which tells you exactly when to put your little one down. So um, we'll see how that kind of shakes out down the line. While the sock is a star, Outlet does offer the connected monitor to see your baby as well. In the past, I hated it. <laughs> I, I've said that a couple of times. I thought the, uh, the connection was pretty bad. But on this go, I've actually been pretty happy with it. It's a fixed camera and seems to load fast, delivers a decent image overall. It's, it's not as clean as like Cubo AI, uh, but you know, it's, it's fine. Uh, it has two-way talk and you have the option to toggle uh, background audio monitoring as well. I'd say overall, you know, it's surprisingly good, I guess, but uh, let me know what your experience has been. To round it out, let's head on one final question. What about the old smart socks? Are they bricked? Can you still use them? According to Outlet, older users do have the option to convert their smart socks into dream socks. Unfortunately, I haven't done this myself yet, uh, but I do have a link below that sheds a little bit more light on the process. Everything that I've mentioned is linked down below, so go ahead and check that out. And thanks to the sponsors of this YouTube channel, Love Every. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button down there. It looks like a thumbs up. For more videos and reviews for young families, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video and come back for the next one. God bless. Later.